Hi, and welcome back to my channel. This is Debbie with Inspirational Goodies, and I have another deck overview for you. I'm not really going to call this an oracle deck because it is more of an astrology deck with guidance. So I guess it's an oracle deck, but let's take a look and you decide for yourself. So this is called the Astro Alignment Deck. Um, created by Grace Duong and she is the same creator as the Mystic Mondays tarot deck which I absolutely adore so that's why I went ahead and got this astro alignment deck I'm gonna tell you right off the bat I do not like the box I will be putting it away and not using it again for many reasons it's a big box it'll look great on your you know it'll look great on your um, shelf if you you know put it on a shelf but once you open it there's this fuzzy stuff that actually comes off on your cards and on your hands and this cute little tuck box which now has black stuff all over the back from the box from the main box um it was very difficult to open and it's going to go right in here and this is all going to get um put aside into storage and not used again. I personally like to store all of my decks in zipper pouches or in um, drawstring bags anyways for ease because my hands have trouble with um, opening, opening up um, all the various types of boxes that are out there. So, let's take a look at the book so the guidebook has introduction rituals how to use the cards explains the modalities elements zodiac signs the houses the axes the planets asteroids all kinds of really great astrology information for you there is a whole universe inside you just waiting to be explored are you ready what a great message that is so the guidebook looks really complete and um, there are a number of, you can go to their website for even more information. I'll link that in the comments. And there are some spreads and some questions to ask. Um, and then here we have as each card, as you draw each card, here's the information that helps you um, interpret what is on the cards. So let's dive in. Yeah, lots of really good information. If you want to learn about astrology, this is a really good way to do it. It's colorful, it's easy. Um, I think it's going to be a really useful deck in my practice as I combine it with tarot decks and crystal decks and I'm going to use it as a whole holistic um, type of card to use for all of my different types of readings that I do. So the back is the entire zodiac with all of the houses. So let's go through the cards. So we have um, the type of card that it is. In this case, it's the first house and it is Aries, and it has keywords, self, body, and presence. So if you're using this in a reading, that's what you would um, add a layer of information about this card to your reading. Um, just another note about the box. The box, they are an environmentally friendly company, so the box does not come with an overwrap. However, the cards inside the box were cello wrapped. So they explain that in their listing on Amazon. Um, so I was a little taken aback when there wasn't an outside wrapper because I've had a couple of decks come from Amazon that had issues and this, um, this was different, but it was fine. So let's just go through. I can't talk about every single card or we'll be here for hours. But um, very clear, very to the point. 
Should be very easy to use in um, spreads on its own and in readings combined with other astrology oracle cards and with tarot cards, either astrology based or not. So now we have the elements. Oh, I see. We have the air, and now we're going to have the air signs. Or not. <laughs> okay. So, I guess now we are in alphabetical order. Which is fine, because once you start shuffling, nothing's going to be in order anyway. Um, some of the other decks that I have opened up have had... Um, have been organized by Zodiac and then each of the other things independently and not mixed in together. Oh, that's a really cool card. So, yeah, this is going to be a fun deck. Let me know, uh, click like if you like walkthroughs of decks like this. I like doing them so that you can actually see if this deck is something that you would want to use. I hadn't looked at a walkthrough of this deck before I bought it, I just went off of the fact that I really enjoy the Mystic Mondays tarot deck. As I said, you can use this on your own. You don't have to use on its own. You don't have to mix it with a... See, now this is something that confuses me, so this will be good, a good card to dive into to figure out all those meanings. Let me know in the comments if this is the kind of deck that appeals to you. Would I would you use it by itself for readings? Do you feel like you need to combine it with another deck for readings? Would you use it just for educational purposes? So I will add this to um, our card of the day on this channel. If you want to go ahead and make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll know when I post a deck walkthrough or when I post card of the day. I have a few astrology decks now, so I may even do an astrology card of the day as a new feature every day on this channel. I think it is good for people to understand some of the astrology of the world, even if you don't want to dig into it too deeply. And I'm looking forward to learning and sharing. So, oh, that's beautiful. Both of those are beautiful. That's a really good representation. Makes it easy to understand waxing and um, waxing crescent and waxing gibbous moons. Um, I guess my cat thinks that's a good idea also. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. And give me a thumbs up if you liked it or you want to see more walkthroughs of similar decks. If you have a deck that you are considering and that you haven't seen a walkthrough of, uh, leave it in the comments and I'll see if I have it or if I would like to go pick it up and do a walkthrough for you. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day.